What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. So today I'm going to share with you guys how to use frequency separation to clean up your seamless backdrop. Now what I love about using frequency separation to do the cleaning is that you'll be able to get rid of all the doors, all the scratches and anything that you don't like from the backdrop and then still retain the detail. It will look like the person is floating on a blood piece of paper. It will still look real. That's what I really love about it. This technique is not the fastest but it will yield realistic results. If you want something that is very fast, I made a video on how to clean up your backdrop in less than 5 minutes. That technique is super fast but it won't retain details. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description and if that's what you want, go and watch that one. But if you have the time to stay and clean up your backdrop and make it look realistic, stick to this video. With that said, let's begin. <laughs> Welcome back guys, I'm not going to explain how to set up the frequency separation itself because that will take a lot of time but I'll drop a link in the description of this video to another video that really explains everything on how to set up your frequency separation and what, is all, and what it is all about and all that. Then I'll also drop another link to where you can download this set of actions that I got for my frequency separation. So in this video I'll just be creating the frequency separation and show you how to use it to clean the backdrop. Now let me quickly explain how frequency separation works. Frequency separation will separate your image into two frequencies, the high frequency and the low frequency. The high frequency is where the texture is and the low frequency is where the colors are. So you can mess around with your colors and it won't affect the texture and you can also mess around with your texture and it won't affect the color. So that's what we are going to use to achieve the result that we want here. First thing is to duplicate your background layer, you can do that using command or control J. After you duplicated your background layout, click on this simple frequency separation. After you download the action in the description and install it, you get this set of actions here. So just click on simple frequency separation. You can use advanced but simple will do for this image. So just go ahead and click it. It will bring up this window where you have to choose the radius for the Gaussian blur. Now this is important. You zoom into your image and adjust the radius to the point that all the things you don't want in the image are blurred out like right now the dust the scratches and everything is blurred out don't take it too high if you take it too high it will the result will not be that desirable so take it to a place that you are just okay with the blur so for me all the dust and scratches and everything is out at 21 so i'll just keep it at 21 and click on ok The three main tools we are going to use is the mixer brush tool, the clone stamp tool and the healing brush tool. So the healing brush tool shortcut is J, the mixer brush tool is B and the clone stamp tool is S. If you can't see the mixer brush tool, just go to your edit tab toolbar and in the extra you'll see your mixer brush tool. Aside that it will be under brushes. So we will first get rid of this reflector that is at the bottom. To do that, we'll go to the high frequency layer and click on the clone stamp tool. Take our opacity to 100 and flow to 100%. How this tool works is that it will help you sample a portion of the image that is good and then use it to fix the portion of the image that is bad. So we'll sample this part and then paint over where the reflector is because that's the bad part of the image. That's the part we are trying to get rid of. And as you can see, we still have some color underneath is not 100% fixed. That's because the colors are in the low frequency separation layer. So go to the low frequency separation layer and then if you use the clone stamp tool to fix the colors, you notice that it will still show that that portion was fixed. So the tool that works best for me is the healing brush tool. Not the spot healing brush tool but the healing brush tool. So I click on the healing brush tool sample a portion it works similar to the clone stamp tool i'll just sample a portion and then paint over the place i want to fix and when i'm done you notice that it looks like there was nothing there as you can see this portion has been fixed it looks like the reflector wasn't there so we'll now go up and fix this rim light that was up here i'll still use the same technique After you are done removing whatever you didn't like, you now go ahead to fix the backdrop. Now for fixing the backdrop, we'll use the clone stamp tool 
and remove any spots or anything that we don't like like this part here that is done i'll just sample the good portion and make sure that you are on the high frequency layer i'll sample the bad part and fix the good part as you can see so we just use the spot healing brush pick the part that we that is good and then use it to fix the part that is bad i'll do that and then fast forward the video since you get the you should get the hang of it by now and when i'm done with that i'll show you how to fix the color when working on the low frequency la layers So I'm done removing all the scratches and wrinkles and all those obvious stuff that were on the backdrop. Let me toggle it and show you. This is before, this is after. Now let's work on the low frequency layer. What we are just going to do is try to balance the colors in the in the backdrop to make it more even. Because as you can see, this side is not the same as this other part. So for that, we are going to use the mixer brush tool. Just click on the mixer brush tool. If you don't see it here, just click and hold the brush tool and it will come up under the brush tools so click on the mixer brush tool use the settings turn this off toggle this off then toggle this one on use 30 30 30 let me change mine to 30 after watching that video i'll link in the description you get to understand how to set it up and why you should use any setting that you decide to use so after that just brush the parts that you don't like it it will automatically sample nearby color and match with the color of that point so what you want to do is don't if there is any shadow don't mix the the highlight with the shadow just mix only the shadow with the shadow since it's backdrop you don't have to be too careful so just brush the the backdrop so that's what i'm going to do and when i'm done i'll get i'll get back to you guys okay guys so i'm done with the colors and let me zoom in and show you if you take a look here you notice that the textures are still intact like let me zoom in really close so that you get to see it see the textures are still intact but the undesired stuff that were on it are gone so that's the use of this of this technique now you can use this technique to fix many other things like clothes um electronics anything that you want in in photoshop because you can separate them into two layers you can work on them individually you can do a better job than, than this since i'm making a video now that's why it's not that clean if i'm doing it on my own i'll take more time to clean it up so if this is the technique for you then you can spend your time and get a realistic looking backdrop using this technique so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a thumbs up click on the subscribe button and ring the bell because if you don't ring the bell you may not get notified of my future updates so always remember to ring the bell and leave a comment down there in the comment section see you guys in the next video <laughs>